All right, we're winding down in the NBA bubble. Only a few games left to play, so we'll try and sneak in some value here. And there's a little bit. You'd be shocked as you're going to go to the bench and see a lot of teams now resting up before the postseason. There's some value on the board. Let's start with the earliest game, and that's the Pacers taking on the Rockets. Now, both teams are still technically playing for something from a seeding standpoint, so both teams are going into this game with the intent on winning. You can start with Houston right now where they're trying to avoid being locked into a lower seed. Russell Westbrook will be out, but James Harden does come back. And we saw what happened when Harden was out. Russ was in and the strategy remained the same. Nothing here is going to change when it comes to the Houston Rockets. We know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to go. It doesn't matter who's out there on the floor. If it's a starter or if it's a guy that hasn't played a second all year, they're going to go out and launch as many threes as possible. The Pacers, on the other hand, still technically sandwiched in that middle spot at the five seed, knowing that they are a game up on the Sixers and could still technically catch Miami if, in fact, Indiana wins and Miami loses. We'll get to the Heat and Sixers coming up, but it's such a big line right now. That total off the board, the money line play at plus 290, just looking at where the value is, take the seven points. At Unibet, you'll get a minus 110 return, but take the seven points. Know how difficult it will be for either team to really pull away. So if we're talking about a close game, even if it's the majority starters and then shifting to more bench players, why not sit here ahead of time? It's already been bet down a little bit. Saw it at eight and a half to eight at one point. Why not? take the value, and grab those seven points. On the flip side, both the Raptors and Sixers are going to be sitting everybody. Tobias Harris, Al Horford sat out alongside Joel Embiid against the Suns on Tuesday. Expect the same scenario Wednesday as they take on the Raptors. Toronto's already in postseason mode, and you may think, all right, well then, why lay the five and a half of the Raptors, Shander, at DraftKings getting the minus 110? Because Toronto's bench and role players are in this mode right now of preparing for the actual playoffs, for being in this postseason mentality where you never know who's going to go down. You never know who's going to be in foul trouble. This is a great opportunity to earn postseason minutes. It's a great opportunity to earn trust in the coaching staff. Sixers just aren't talented enough. They hung around with Phoenix for a little bit before the Suns just extended that sucker in no time in the fourth quarter. Expect a similar situation here. Wouldn't be shocked if the Sixers came out, won the first quarter, won the first half, but in the reality that we're all living in right now, this is a Raptors bench game in which they are just more talented and more focused is the operative word here. So yes, all over Toronto, only laying the five and a half in a all-out bench battle between the Sixers. Last game, take the money line play here. Take the value. We mentioned that there is this jam in the middle of the East with Miami, also Indiana, and then Philadelphia, a game behind the Pacers. The Heat are coming into this game against the Thunder, wanting a win. The, th the Heat are coming in here also with this playoff mentality. Jimmy Butler back into the lineup, missed three straight, returned the last game, still trying to get everybody on that same page. I can't imagine that Spo and the Heat are going to be resting everybody. They still need to get Goran Dragic healthy. There's a lot of questions that could be answered over the next two days or so. Here in, with the Miami Heat, expect at least some of those questions to be answered against the Thunder. It's no knock on where OKC is. They need that game as well. The Thunder have proven to be a difficult out more times than not in this bubble and still will give their first-round opponent some headaches. But this is a Heat game right here. This is a Miami Heat play on the money line, plus 130 at BetMGM. Love where they're going so long as they can stay intact and keep a consistent rotation out there. They're going to be a tough out in the East by all means, especially in the second round when they advance either over Indiana or Philadelphia, which I doubt is going to happen. So just to recap, take that big line, jump in while you can. It's plus seven right now at Unibet 
as the Pacers and Rockets will do battle. Indiana getting those points. Lay the five and a half at DraftKings with the Toronto Raptors taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. And bet MGM is your place to roll for the Miami Heat on the money line, plus 130 to knock off the Thunder. Enjoy the games. Barats Checker, I'm Aton Shander.